all right let's look at this question here we need to label a set of personal digital images by identifying objects we'll first look at option a this is form recognizer form recognizer focuses on extracting fields and tables from scanned forms as the name suggests right the form and uh, form recognizer doesn't deal with um, image labeling what we are looking incorrect we'll move to now option b b says custom vision custom vision allows training a model to assign custom labels to images based on visual features aligning with the goal of labeling a photo collection let's keep this we'll move to c c says language language processes natural language text not image content or visual data incorrect let's move to option d d says computer vision computer vision extracts general tags and description but doesn't support training a labeling model customized for photo data sets incorrect we'll lock option b custom vision as the right choice all righty now let's tackle this question this is all about digitalization i will look at option a is is object detection object detection detects physical objects in the images not text related uh, data hence uh, uh, incorrect we'll move to b b is facial recognition if you look at the question there is no requirement for any kind of face right so facial recognition cannot help we'll move to c c is image classification image classification groups images by visual category without extracting detailed text from them wrong answer we'll move to now d this is optical character recognition known as ocr optical character recognition enables converting printed newspaper text into machine readable format for digitalization this looks good we'll lock option d ocr as the right answer all right all right now let's tackle this question uh, this is all about similar spending behaviors recorded in numerical values so when it comes to numerical values i think uh, you might be uh, guessing already the answers what it should be let's look at first option e is is clustering clustering finds natural grouping in data using similarity in numerical values without relying on predefined labels let's um, keep this you will move to b b is regression regression predicts continuous outcomes but doesn't group rows based on value similarity what we need incorrect we we'll move to c c is classification classification uses label data to assign categories rather than uncovering value based grouping incorrect we will move to uh, will lock option e clustering as the right answer okay let's tackle this question where we need to manage multiple versions of train model we we'll look at option e it says explain the model explaining the model helps interpret results but doesn't uh, maintain model version history incorrect we'll move to b b says register the model registering the model enables version tracking across retrained models within azure machine learning workspace let's keep this we'll move to c c says register the training data registering the training data stores input data sets not trained model versions wrong choice we'll move to uh, option d this is provision and interface cluster provisioning an interface cluster prepares infrastructure for deployment but doesn't support version control of trained models incorrect we'll lock option b register the model as the right answer all right now let's look at this question this is all about inputs we'll look at first option e is is data set data set refers to the full collection of data not the individual input themselves hence incorrect we'll move to b b is labels labels represent the known output values used for evolution not what the model learns from wrong answer let's move to c c is variables variables are the input features provided to the machine learning algorithm to help it learn relationship that being said option c variables is the right answer all right all right let's look at this question this is all about prediction so you might be already guessing the answer when it comes to prediction or forecasting right 
let's look at option A. This is regression. Regression deals with predicting continuous values like number of vehicles. Let's keep this. We'll move to B. We say translation. Translation deals with converting one language into another, not estimating quantities. Incorrect. Let's move to C. C says classification. Classification assigns labels or categories, not continuous numeric prediction. Let's delete this. We'll move to D. D says clustering. Clustering finds patterns in unlabeled data, not uh, used to predict vehicle count. Wrong choice. Let's lock option E regression as the right answer. Alrighty. Let's look at this question. This is about intelligent support assistant. We'll look at option E. This is machine learning. Machine learning enables general model training, but doesn't operate as a direct user interface for customer queries. Incorrect. We'll move to now option B. B says computer vision. Computer vision focuses on image data, which is not related to support um, across email, phone or live chat. Wrong choice. We'll move to C. C says chatbot. Chatbot handles multi-channel queries like um, email, um, phone and live chat for customer support. Um, this looks good because this aligns with the uh, requirement of the question. We'll move to now D. D says natural language processing known as NLP. NLP provides understanding in conversations but doesn't handle channel specific support logic like a chatbot does. Incorrect. We'll lock option C chatbot as the right answer. All right, all right. Now let's look at this question, which is about executing the pipeline. We'll uh, look at option A. This is ratioed model. Ratioed model is the result of successful pipeline run, not a prerequisite for execution. What we are looking because we are looking for the f setting up the first right must be set up first to run the model pipeline. So this is out. We'll move to B. B says compute resource. Compute resource provides the processing power required to execute steps in the model pipeline. Let's keep this. We'll move to C. C says Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook allows for interactive experimentation, but the designer interface doesn't rely on it to operate the pipeline. Wrong choice. We'll lock option B. Compute resource as the right answer. All right. Let's look at this question, which is about data related task. We'll look at option E. This is load the data set. Loading the data set is the first operational step to make raw data accessible for any modeling process. Let's keep this. We'll move to B. B says create a clustering model. Creating a uh, clustering, uh, this is used for grouping unlabeled data, but doesn't address detection of defective items via a classification process, uh, which uh, we are looking here, if you look. Therefore, incorrect. We'll move to C. C says split the data into training and testing data sets. Splitting uh, the data can only happen after the data set has been brought into the environment. Incorrect. We'll move to D. This is create a classification model. A classification model can't be configured without the data set being loaded into the workspace first. Let's delete this. We'll lock option A, load the data set as the right answer. All right, now let's look at this question, which is about minimizing bias. We'll look at option E. It says exclude attributes related to protected characteristics from the data set before sampling. Removing protected characteristics alone doesn't ensure balanced representation. Incorrect. We'll move to B. B says select a training sample that reflects the UK driving population distribution. A representative training sample helps minimize bias by aligning model behavior with real world demographics. Let's keep this. We'll move to now. Option C. C says build the training data set using historical claim data from multiple international insurers. Global data introduces population mismatch, making bias reduction ineffective for UK specific predictions. Wrong answer. We'll move to D. D says generate a training sample using a uniform random selection strategy. Random sampling may ignore distributional imbalances, risking biased outcomes. Let's delete this. We'll lock option B as the right answer. So please, please, please don't go away. Let's meet in next part of this series.